Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching this job video. Today I created this trail effect in Unreal Engine Niagara. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I have this third person template map and if I play, I have this character. If I run, this is actually from all tutorial. And if you want to learn this, you can watch my tutorial for this. Okay, so basically in the third person uh, blueprint, which is this. So in this blueprint, I have this FX link. So I will not delete it, but I'll just disable it, the visibility. And then I'll select the character and I will add one more Niagara. And let's call it trail. And now we need to make the trail. So let me go here and make a new folder. Character trail and we will use two type of trails ribbon and uh, just the particles so first let's uh, make the ribbon so I'll take the Niagara and I'll call it NS trail and I'll directly link this with this trail so here if I'll go just pick it and we don't have anything in the Niagara so if I take a minimal emitter and take the spawn rate like any value so now if I save this you will notice I have particles here and if I play we have, oh, we have again this let me check I will actually open this because it has some blueprint also so I will just disable this for now this trail and now we sh should have this white rail what just happened let me check I have disabled this it should not have uh, let me check I was actually opening the long blueprint this is the blueprint which is playing and it has this ghost trail so I will just turn off the visibility and then I will take the Niagara here uh, Niagara particles I'll call this trail and now I will use my trail here and now it should spawn yeah so we have this now we have to link it with the par uh, to the surface of my we don't need blueprint now so what i'll do i'll take the skeletal mesh location in the initial and also you can take this here so and we need that skeleton mesh so let me just open that so you can just select this mesh on the skeleton and then you can use it here in your FX. then you can copy paste in the update okay and I'll do that attached to parent both and now here you have to in the sampling use the surface triangles for both surface triangles I'll move it here so now and I don't need spawn rate I just need some particles maybe like 50 particles and let's say size is just 2 and I'll also make these red so they are visible properly so we have these 50 particles on the surface and they will always be uh, like linked with the surface attached to the surface because we are using it in update so if I save this and now play see we have these 50 particles and I don't need actually 50 either I need just maybe 10 or 20 let's say 20 okay and if you don't like this you can just go here and uh, not local determinism and then change this so every time you will change value your particle portion will be random and whichever you want you can just like this one or 
this one okay you can use so we have this I'll call this red source okay and then we need red ribbons coming out of it so I'll just take the uh, minimal emitter again and I'll call this red ribbon and what I'll do I'll just in this one take the generate location turn on in the properties this persistent id now in the red ribbon and let's also make this gpu so it will be good should be a fix it's not taking gpu oh let let it be cpu okay and then in this one uh, i'll take the of course ribbon render it as by default the material then we will take the event handler and we will choose the location from the red source spawn particle one spawn right and we will take receive location that's it if you want to see that here you can use velocity otherwise we don't need that life may be just one and let's try it and we don't need sprites in it so if i play now we have these cool ribbons and i think it's still too many we can reduce this to maybe just 10 okay so let's make this for now uh, red and let's make the cool material for it let me save all so I need a material for this M ribbon and I'll just make a basic one so basically on a planar this is the head of tail uh, ribbon and this is the back tail actually so I'll take this basic texture aura did not this one this one I'll pan it uh, maybe 0.5 and I'll make this uh, unlit edit it to side it and if I take the particle color directly and make this here this is how it will look let me make this a little darker let it compile this is how it looks first thing i need to fade it overall so i'll take the radial and multiply it and also i'll use the power here power to just little contrast in the noise texture in this aura texture and radial it just to mask it from all direction now i want it minus 0.5 and i want it to stretch on the x maybe point uh, three i guess and then i need a very let's uh, let's save it first i need actually very sharp line here so for that what you can do you can you can take a texture coordinate shift c and take the green channel which is a gradient and then i'll take the sign and take the two value so it will be both side now i will invert it and take the divide and i'll use very low value in the divide so i will have this very cool gradient let it compile it's cool but this is very bright because of post process so i will just turn off the post process then to avoid these two clipping through I will just multiply this thing again with the sign so we will have something like this and if you don't want to do this you can just use this sign and take the power and increase the power maybe I don't know maybe 20 you can also use this to avoid this chunk if you don't understand what is happening although you can maybe 50 then I will multiply it with the radial and then add it on the top of this 
but I need even thinner, maybe 200, and just connect this here. So basically, what will what I will get after this? Let it. Uh, so I have very uh, a line in the center, and this whole thing should be little dull. So I will just make this like 0.3. So this line should be more visible. And if this line is very straight, you want to distort it, you can also do that. So you can just add this thing, this noise here to the UVs. And then this multiplier will be a value how much you want to distort it. So I just want very little value, maybe just 0.1. So that line will be just little bit disturbed, not much like this. It still looks too much, so 0.05. And I'll just save it. So now we can just use this material here. And I'll make the thickness of my ribbons maybe 50 and less jack. Yeah, we have these cool ribbons. Although that line is is still very so i'll just make a dynamic parameter and this is 200 i'll call it thickness save it one more thing i did actually uh, for this thing let me show you again actually i accidentally did it uh, after video pausing so this thing I'm adding this line here. So what I'm doing, multiplying this line with the particle color, then add, multiplying it again. So I will have a control to boost that line and I'll make the parameter. Then adding back to the particle color. So that line we will have control how much we need and this, this parameter name is value that we save. So now here, in the dynamic parameter if I refresh we have thickness I'll make it 500 and we have value which I'll make it 50 now those lines are more brighter cool and we can go even higher maybe this is 1000 so that line will be very thin cool but I want these to fade very quickly so I'll take the scale color curve and should fade like this yeah cool and it's still too many lines so I will just make this uh, maybe 5 then I'll kind of duplicate these both and this red will be now blue and this red will be now blue and because the position of these particles are same so I will change this value randomly and then here just need to change it to blue so now uh, one more thing I need to change the color to blue and for this also blue now if I play I have some blue lines and I have some red lines cool and one more thing these two these one should be just spawn once and leave forever source so they will never die and just spawn once let me save now we have this cool now we need some red and blue particles for that uh, let's copy this and paste this here and I'll just call it red not source and now this will have life and this should spawn continuously I will use spawn rate maybe 100 and I don't need this here and non generate location let me just focus on this so we have some particles cool this should scale down over life 
but after point five and live should random maybe three and one i'll add some curl noise maybe 500 and this should also animate and also add drag in it let me check how it will look it looks good but uh, the size of particle is not random so it should be 2 and 0.1 and also life maybe just 2 and 0.1 very random and this is red we can just duplicate this and just change the color to blue so now we have blue although we can rename this also and now this is the whole scene of oh. Let me save. We have this whole scene. And we can also add some glowy thing in it. And also one more thing. Uh, let me just open this blueprint again. We can add light in it if you want. So if I take the point light. And I'll just move it here. Let's make this orange -ish. we can duplicate this and we can make this bluish oh it's not duplicated we can just duplicate this now and make this orange -ish. so we will have some feel some connectivity although we can move these both lights little up and we can reduce attenuation maybe to that yeah now one more thing you can do you can just copy like this red one and what i'll do i'll just make the size very big maybe 50 150 and this thing is just 1.1 1 .1, little orangish and this should be actually very soft and additive uh, let me just make the opacity let me just make this make the opacity down maybe point 0.1 let me check this emitter this look dark but uh, it should not have because material is additive let me make one more uh, material so i'll make the material i'll just make this additive unlit and i'll take the radial make the density maybe just one take the particle color it will go here and this thing will go here and I'll also take that fit maybe just 50 and I'll just save it so now I will use this here in this glow and let it compile it is still like that I think my post process or something wrong I think something wrong in the scene but yeah something wrong when I'm making it darker but you got the idea this is what you can do okay so that's it